Hello, welcome to watch this Solid Edge tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to explain how do we create a 3D model using Solid Edge ST10. After you start the software, you will see a screen similar to this. To create a new 3D model, we go to New. Under this new window, we have different functions here. You may see slight difference. For example, in this one, you could see isometric part or different prefix here. That is because initially a different standard was assigned to the software. To edit or change the standard assigned to the software, we click this edit list. Then here you can see we have a different standard templates. That's the place we assign standard to the software. We are in the UK, we use Great Britain metric system. So we have to click this one, highlight this one, and use that one for the rest of the course. If you are in the States, you can have two options. One is inch, one is metric. Ding metric is standard of Germany. Uh, most European countries use isometric. And uh, JIS is the one used by Japanese, etc. So we use GB metric and we click on OK to assign these templates to our software. Once it's done, you should see something similar as my one. Now we can actually use one of the modules to create things we need. As we explained in the class, we use part module to create a 3D model. We use draft to help us to produce engineering drawing based on 3D model. Solid Edge is a software. We create 3D model first, then we produce 2D drawings based on that. There's a third module, which is GB metric assembly. We use this module to help us to put the parts together to make a system. Right, now we start to use part to create first model. Click. Now we are in the working environment of the part. If you have a look at this orange bar, inside the bar, we should actually draw it as ordered. There are two different environments, two different working environments for the part module. One is ordered, the other one is asynchronous. If asynchronous appears on this orange bar, you need to actually go back to the to watch the solid edge setup video. In that video explains you need to actually click the bullet point of ordered and save the setup, then close the program and restart the program. You should be able to see this order that appeared here. Repeat it again. If you didn't see ordered appears here, you need to actually go back to follow the other video to set up a system so as the part module is working at older environment. Then we can move to this, this area. You can see there are three reference planes. One, two, three. That, that, they are the one you can place 2D drawing and start to make a 3D. Now we can start to make 
a block. We can use the functions here. You can see these solids under this block. We have different functions. The one has been highlighted in blue, they are active one. So you can use them. But the one hasn't been highlighted. That means you cannot use them when at the start point of the model. These are the functions you need to actually click this triangle to get the additional function. Pairs, then you can use them. To create a block, we need to use extrude command. So we click on extrude. Then we move our mouse to the front plane. Click on this front plane. When it becomes orange. Now the window change it to 2D plane, which is on your front plane. On this plane, you can use the drawing function here. You can draw a straight line, a circle, or rectangle. So we click this one. You have a different ways to draw rectangle shape. You can draw the center, then draw the edge, or you can draw by two points or by three points and you can make polygons by center as well this is a new function which has been used recently only we use this rectangle by two points function click and uh, release your mouse make sure after each click, you just release your mouse button and move when you actually move your mouse. So don't hold mouse button down when you actually move your mouse. You move your mouse to the appropriate place on your screen, and you click and release again and drag. Where you're dragging your mouse, do not actually hold your mouse button down. All right. And when you get the rough dimension here, okay, then you can type in, for example, 50, press return, and you can type 30, type return, and you get the box. It doesn't really matter where you have this box within this coordinate system as long as the dimension is correct. So you also can assign the angle or the orientation of this box. But we want this box here horizontally. So just press Enter. Then the box is fixed. Now we finish the, to draw 2D profile of this block. We can now click on either this green tick or this color sketch green tick to finish the drawing of 2D profile. Once you are in the new window, you can see we have a 2D profile, then we can actually move a mouse backwards, forwards to create a block. When you move your mouse, make sure you do not actually hold your mouse button down. All right. Now you can see on the top here, there's a box called distance. In there, you can enter dimension, for example, 20. And press enter. And now we can click so the box the thickness of the box is fixed at this stage we still can change it 
before we click on the finish button, we still can go back to change the dimension of this rectangle shape. We still can click on this one to change the thickness, the distance of the block. So after press enter, don't forget to click. Uh, you can change the dimensions in a different way. For example, you can see here, this is 20 millimeter. You can click on this one to change the dimension. You can click on this one to change the dimension. You can always come back and change the dimension. Once your dimension is fixed, you can move on to click on this finish. You can see the box now is fixed. Make sure you click on cancel before you move on to save this model. So now we can save this model. Click on this disk. Uh, then place your model in a in a folder. Then type in. I put it on my desktop, but you need actually create a area. Uh, then you can actually move it in. So put. Block and save. Okay, you are suggest to create a folder called CAD 2017 and save the file into there. That's it for this video.